Hello and welcome back to Train Them Up. My name is Allie and I am so thankful that you're here today. So I haven't been around for the past week and a half and you might be wondering why. And for those of you who are, uh, <laughs> funny story because my uh, wonderful daughter uh, was sitting on my lap and she hit delete on all of my pictures and video um, that I had <laughs> on the computer. I had them just in one file and uh, for new content and they were completely wiped off and I made the mistake of already erasing the files from my SD card to save up room. So <laughs> Sad day, I lost everything, so now I'm just getting a chance to uh, create some videos and hopefully get them up uh, for you all. So anyways, if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Allie, and on this channel, I talk about my most favorite things, including God, homeschool, baking, cooking, foster care, and adoption. So I just wanna welcome you, and if any of those interests you, Give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to hit that red subscribe button because I will eventually catch up on videos <laughs> and have things posted. So anyways, uh, without ado, let's jump into my honest review of Gather Rounds, Letters, and Numbers 4. So this is the teacher guide. I bought the digital version, which I highly recommend um, because uh, the shipping from Canada is so expensive and it takes a long time. And I have the Epson EcoTank. Uh, I believe it's 3760. I don't know if that's the right number or not. Um, I'll link. Uh, down below what printer I do have. It's a very popular uh, printer because you can print so many pages without having to replace the ink and the quality is awesome. So um, of course with Gather Round uh, it goes without saying the curriculum is absolutely beautiful. It's very eye-catching and engaging. The kids want to do it because it's cool and it's beautiful. Um, it has been uh, awesome going through uh, the entire letters and numbers uh, series and we are um, just one letter away we just have Z um, from finishing up this um, curriculum and by the time you see this video we will have completed it but um, it is just phenomenal uh, I love how for uh, the week see if this will zoom um it shows you what is going to be covered and some optional uh activities and some focuses uh that you can do um and i really appreciate how this is broken down especially um for those of us who have kids who love school and who want to fly through it like if i let um, the little boy that I nanny and homeschool for, um, he would probably complete like three weeks at a time, <laughs> uh, worth of lessons because he just loves it so, so much. But, um, for lesson 13, you can see we have the Falcon here and on the next day, we're studying the Falcon again. So it makes it so easy to, uh, make it accelerated and i absolutely love how god's word is incorporated into the story and it flows very well um and when i say his word the um scripture actually isn't printed on there but rebecca spooner did say um that she is going to include that in a future revision right now she's busy writing uh year three so i'm excited for when the updated version comes out that already has a scripture in these little devotional pieces here so here is one for you and the pictures are just so cute and then i love this little review um his dictation has always been 
really great but I feel as if um, over time he's gotten more detailed with his answers and can recall a lot more um, as we've gone through uh, this series. So um, with letters and numbers four, um, in some of uh, letters and numbers three, for the third and fourth day, um, they had two different things. So here's a fly and then um, the first airplanes. And so um, that was fun. It was a little more uh, content and diverse versus it being um, just two animals. Uh, so that was really, really fun. We enjoyed that. And um, I really appreciate the week in review and the optional activities. Some of these we would love to do and some of them we did some we modified and made it our own and that's the beauty of gather round um you get to decide what you do with your curriculum you can use it just open and go and honestly friends this is the best on the go curriculum hands down you have nothing you need to prep for this Okay, and you just need your basic school supplies. So uh, oftentimes we will just run to the park and uh, I'll read uh, a lesson when he's taking a snack break and then he'll do a page or two. Then he'll go run and play with his friends and then come back and do a lesson, a um, few pages worth. And it's phenomenal because it's minimal. There's not a lot to it. Um, but, uh, I am one of those people who are bookaholics. <laughs> I love books. And, uh, so we paired a lot of books with this as we always do with any of our curriculum. Um, so, uh, for our morning time, we would read, uh, a devotional. Usually it corresponds to the scripture that we're covering in, um, that lesson. And, uh, then we'll, uh, look at the resources and the book lists that are on the Gather Round uh, website uh, and just uh, pick a few books from there and dive into those. Um, I wanted to show you our very last lesson and I do apologize because I was indecisive <laughs> about uh, binding. I thought for sure I would love comb binding. Alas, I did not. <laughs> Once I saw uh, the Five Star Flex binders, I was like, I have to have one of those. <laughs> and now I have like six. <laughs> um, they're amazing. Um, I should have brought one over here. I didn't even think about it. Um, but they lay flat. You can fold the covers back and you can easily take out the pages um, and they're so easy for the kids to do themselves um, but also sturdy enough that they're not going to just fall apart if that makes sense. So um, this is the last lesson um, or week I should say a whole week's worth that he will do in no time. Um, well, actually, um, this is part of why, um, and this is from lesson 48. And then on the other side is Z. And this is something that I would like to see change in the future because sometimes, um, I will only put, uh, a week or two worth of lessons in the binder, uh, the flex binder, um, for him. So it's not like this huge thing that we have to carry around. Um, and when you have the weeks overlapping, um, like this, uh, that's, uh, is kind of hard, um, for me to divvy that up. So I completely forgot this page because I thought it was a part of Z, but, um, that's the last part of, um, Y and then we jump into Z. Um, really small. Um, and I think I mentioned that in my letters and numbers uh, three review. Um, but the numbers are gorgeous. 
uh, everything in this curriculum is gorgeous. But I love how um, it's watercolor um, and it's hand drawn and the um, like the coloring is consistent, which is really nice. Um, and I love how uh, Rebecca has just pulled in scripture and made um, quite a bit of um, like Bible time and reflection within the curriculum. Uh, we also have been using the Good and the Beautiful Level K Primer uh, for language arts and we've been loving that and uh, we've enjoyed pairing that with uh, letters and numbers. Uh, I certainly don't think he, uh, there needs to be anything else with letters and numbers. It can completely stand on its own. The only reason why we are doing that is because uh, the four-year-old that I'm uh, nannying for, he is incredibly smart and he's motivated and he wants to do all the stuff all the time and could literally sit for three to four hours just doing school because he loves it that much and that is amazing um, and he wants to be more challenged. So we're just pairing those two uh, right now and here's another glimpse at a, another page from the curriculum and counting the objects. This is something that he struggles with. So uh, having this in color and having the items a little bit different, I have really appreciated that because it's not monotonous and he can more easily group uh, items together. Um, in his mind to figure out like, okay, here's a group of five. I can start off by counting five, six, seven, and from there, uh, which is really great um, to see that progress. So I'm very thankful that the pictures that are in here are a little bit different. And uh, another comment that I um, have and something that I've sent in for a review, um, or just like a suggestion, I mean, um, is they always have this uh, review page of the letter and there's always two things that they have to um, circle or color. And we've literally done this for, this will be our 54th <laughs> time, um, or no, 52nd time, um, because we've gone through letters and numbers uh, one and two, and now three and four, and there are 26 letters, um, times two, I believe that's 52. <laughs> um, and, uh, this will be the 52nd time that this has been in here, and <laughs> it's just a little bit redundant, and none of, like, I, I don't feel like the rest of the curriculum is, so maybe, um, this is just me, but, uh, I've been, uh, giving different directions uh, for each letter in here. Um, basically, since we started letters and numbers three, um, because he was just like, oh yeah, I know how to do this. Like, you don't have to read any of this. And I wanted it to be where I would read this and we could make it uh, conversational, make it fun. Um, so we would do like really silly things. Like um, for Z, I'm planning on having him putting zigzags all over the um, zucchini and the zigzag um, it, just to make it more fun and interesting. Um, instead of circling or coloring it, maybe they could draw a box around it. Or um, maybe they could uh, draw a triangle. Or maybe they could cross them out or underline the word. Um, or write the letter on top of the picture or something like that. I don't know. But I think mixing it up would be good. And you know what the great thing about Gather Around is? You can do what you want with it. You can change things up. You don't have to use it all. Um, you can if you want to. Um, and you can add 
as much as you want. Uh, and we have really been enjoying these pages, um, learning where the letter is, if it's at the beginning or the end, and then um, real life application, learning words, writing and tracing that has been so so fun and good um he actually remembers quite a bit of these which is super awesome um because he is a very early reader which is going to be perfect for when we start ready to read um and i uh, the name practice has gotten smaller over time, which is great. And then he loves um, cutting out and uh, decorating the animal that we've learned about and putting that on another sheet of paper. Um, sometimes we go all out with the glitter and the glue and all the things. And sometimes it's just plain old crayons. And the books, the Z book, um, or the letter books have been awesome. We practice reading these a lot. Um, and he is really, really, um, doing well with that. So love those. And then here is the review page for the lesson. And then, um, a lot of different things that we have studied within this unit. So all in all, I would say that this has been a amazing preschool curriculum. We have really enjoyed learning all about uh, things in the air and uh, in the jungle for three and for letters numbers one I believe that was in the forest and letters and numbers two was on the farm so really great unit study Charlotte Mason based um ideas and uh unit studies those have been awesome uh something that I did get to go with this lesson that we didn't or I'm sorry this curriculum that we didn't even use is the coloring book and um for letters and numbers three, I ended up just giving it to my 19 month old daughter um, and letting her <laughs> color it because she wanted something to do. Um, but honestly, if you have someone who really, really loves to color and they love doing art stuff and you enjoy that, then get it. But otherwise, it's not needed. Um, and another thing that I bought is the uh, handwriting. And if you watched my uh, Letters and Numbers 3 review, um, I told you that we ended up stop using uh, the handwriting because uh, it was just too quick. And something that I would love to see them do, and I have sent this in as a suggestion, um, especially for such uh, new writers this is the first time um well letters and numbers three is the first time writing is introduced in the form of writing letters um there's been tracing and that kind of thing but um i feel as if this is very quick to just go from tracing and then um just quickly fading to the dots. Uh, I would love to see a few lines of the um, uh, tracing and then slowly fade out just like they do in the lesson but just for an extended period of time because I want them to learn the letters well. So for example like you have it here. It's a full Z and then there's a one line missing and then the uh, diagonal line is missing and then you have the dot. Like I think it would be great if there was a line or two of the full Zs, then you um, have another line of this and then slowly go down to where they are doing it independently. And that's the goal is for them to write independently but if they're brand new learners, um, I think it's, hard for them to go 
um, from full on uh, tracing to the um, lines. And I do love um, how the colors and the lines um, are the same throughout. And that has been really great. So if you have um, something that is curving, like, let me see here, go to the, sorry, I'm trying to find one that's the same here. Okay, so if you notice with the N, there's this pink and it goes around, well, in that same motion for the P, and I believe um, the C uh, and A, they all have this pink. Um, and I really appreciate that. That um, is super great. Uh, I wish we would have used this. I think we would have used it more if it would have um, faded more slowly towards that independent. Um, and uh, so, I didn't show you the extra page. So here's the first page and then here's the second. And then it's just independent from there. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Do you have really great writers? What program do you use for handwriting? Um, uh, we did also try the Good and the Beautiful uh, handwriting and that really wasn't working either. Um, something that we did uh, find that has worked really really well for us um, are actually from Lakeshore Learning. Um, they have uh, uh, like dry erase um, for all of the letters and uh, this book just has uppercase and then there's a lowercase book and then we also got printing numbers 1 to 30 and uh, for letters and numbers it only goes up to number 20 but I think it's I think we'll continue to go up to 30 just to get that uh, practice um, with the numbers and writing them and this has been so great because um, he really enjoys uh, dry erase markers and wiping it off um, and if he makes a mistake he's not like erasing um, all the time um, and uh, for him I feel as if, if he has to erase something with a pencil um that's more hard for him than it is just wiping it off for some reason that seems like it's um a bigger deal I'm not really sure why but um this has uh given him so much confidence for writing um so what we do with this is he will trace the two lines then he'll wipe it clean and he'll do two more and then he will try to write it um, by himself five times. That is how I use this. Some people just um, will have uh, them trace it and then they'll copy it down for 10 times or whatever. Um, so this is something um, that I would recommend. I believe these were each $10, but I, I got them on sale. I want to say like 30 or 40% off. Um, so I feel as if we're going to use these for a while. And with my daughter too, like the entire book is uh, dry erase free. So if she wants to she can scribble in here all she wants with the dry erase marker and we can just wipe it off and it will be fine um so i feel like this was a good investment um because we can use it over and over and over again um so yeah overall letters and numbers for was phenomenal uh we have really enjoyed gather around 
um, and we are also doing the dinosaur unit right now. Um, I think we're going to pause on the dinosaurs and switch over to Christmas after uh, Thanksgiving. Um, we've just been really enjoying dinosaurs and digging in deep with that. So I don't want to rush through it if he is really interested in it. Um, but uh, he is so, so pumped for uh, ready to read one. I believe it's in the pond. Um, I just printed it off and I uh, prepped a few of the word family um, activities. Um, so I will show that to you very, very soon um, because we are just so excited to get that started. So um, yeah. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up and please tell all of your friends about us. And be sure to hit that red subscribe button um, to see all of my latest videos. Thank you so much and you have an awesome day. Bye ladies!